Hello everybody, Blue Dooley. We're doing a little gaming, but we're also doing a little ch uh, channel update. We're gonna have truck racing playing in the background. This first race, I don't have the whole race filmed as it was a 25 minute race and I don't want to bore you to death with how long I stayed in second place after uh, qualifying in fourth. So, still kind of getting the feel of this game out. I haven't really played it much since the last video I made. The graphics still are really stunning. <coughs> and if you like trucks, it's one of the few truck racing sims around. The physics are pretty good. As for channel updates, I was hoping to have some more content made, but between the heat of summer and all the smoke from the wildfires that are burning in Oregon and California, I spend all week outside, and when the weekend comes, I don't want to be outside in that smoke anymore. <clears throat> in fact, you might hear me clear my throat a little often. It's just allergies from all that smoke. Uh, some days, it's been so bad, visibility is under five miles, like maybe two miles at most visibility because the smoke is just that thick. So that's why there hasn't been a ton of updates on the channel. I finally got some parts in for the snow plow. Uh, two of the three drive shafts came in. Uh, I'm still waiting on the long one for the front, but the linear actuator or linear servo came in as well. I'm going to throw a picture of it up right here so you can take a look at it. The linear servo produces 45 pounds and I mismeasured a little bit. So it's longer than I was going to use at the front of the box. But it's a decent enough length that I believe I can lay it down in between the frame rails and it'll still work really well. And that'll also allow me to use the other side of the frame rails inside to mount the battery. I had really hoped to get some great footage of the 2021 Joe Mama Car Show. I got out there a little afternoon and it was so crowded. I had a hard time getting photos of anything. Even just a couple of seconds was all I needed for nobody to be standing around the car or vehicle. Just to get a photo is almost impossible. There's a really cool 38 Dodge bus that had been converted to an RV. I spent 20 minutes just standing there waiting for, again, two, two seconds for nobody to be standing between me and that bus to get a photo. I did eventually get a photo of it. This one right here. That was the only photo I could get of that thing with only one person in the way. It was a popular vehicle for sure, so there was always a crowd around it. The other vehicle I thought was really awesome was the 61 Ford F100. It was immaculate. And the other one I'm surprised I got a good shot of is this 1950 Mercury. Just a gorgeous car. I can't believe it wasn't swamped. One of my favorites for sure at the show. I also managed to get a pretty good shot of this 1940 Ford pickup, hot rod, paint, also an awesome looking build. Onto the CXT, it's on hold for a little bit. I need to order a new drive shaft for it, actually I need to order drive shafts for it, as they're all plastic, and one of them on that last outing, uh, I twisted it right out, pulling a grade. So, I knew it needed metal drive shafts. I was just seeing how long the plastic ones would hold on. The trailer up a fairly steep grade. It just just twisted that <laughs> uh, shaft almost 360, and it pulled that uh, U joint right out of uh, right out of the end, bolted to the axle. So, truck has plenty of pulling power for sure. The metal drive shafts will help me get that power down. A full-size truck. I got some parts for a video for it. I'm still waiting on some other things to come in if I can find them. A lot of things are on back order, no matter what your hobby is. So I'm also saving up pennies for a camshaft for the truck. 
So once I get that and all the other associated parts I need for the particular sh camshaft I want, we'll hopefully have an install video of that. I'm really kind of hoping before the end of the year. That's that's my sh shooting goal is to have that done uh, before the end of the year. Back to truck racing for a little bit. Skipped ahead to the last lap. If you were watching the video, it said I was behind first place by 33 seconds, and my best lap time was 2 minutes 12 seconds, which is 3 seconds, almost 4 seconds fast. No, 4 seconds faster than what I qualified for to get started in fourth. He ran away with it. I never caught him at all. <laughs> While we check out this last lap, one of the other things I'm trying to work on as well is getting a better setup for capturing uh, video game playthroughs so I can do a little more mod reviews when the weather is bad or I have a lengthy stretch of time waiting for parts to show up so I can do the next video I want to do. <laughs> as I mentioned earlier, everything's hard to get. So I'm next paycheck, I'm getting a actual captured device. You plug the Xbox into it with the HDMI cable and then you hook it to the TV with another HDMI cable and it intercepts all the uh, video and audio that way. Because right now what I have to do is stream the Xbox to the PC through my router which means playing multiplayer and capturing video, the lag and everything, trying to do all of that at once would just make the video aggravating. <laughs> so I'm hoping with that card I can capture video a little better. Forza Horizon 5 is coming out in September. I'd really like to get an Xbox Series X before then, but no one has one at the moment, and I don't even know how far out they are to get one. So, those are some other channel plans. As you can see, I took second. This is the second race. There's actually another one that I need to do. I quit filming after about an hour. We're going to watch a little bit of this. And then we'll skip to a race on the Nurburg ring part of it. Uh, driving in the wet. Because I thought I had adjusted everything so there would be brake fade. But you have to turn damage on to get brake fade. It's an actual setting of brakes overheating. and But without damage on, overheating does nothing. I didn't realize that. So I turned the damage on. Uh, I am racing in intermediate. The first video I made was beginner. I stepped up the difficulty a little bit. And in this one, I do manage to get first place. I think I pass him here in a few turns, so... I'm hoping with the capture device and a little more RAM in the PC, I can do a little more uh, video game content. Because... I, I kind of want to do a little bit of mixed content throughout the year. I don't want to just focus on one thing, especially since waiting for expensive parts takes a while. So I'd like to have some content to be viewed instead of going a month or more without putting anything out on the channel. That doesn't really help viewership that much. And I, I enjoy doing that. All the different kinds of content, full size, RC, video games. I'd also like to do a little more uh, videos for work, which are a little tricky to do because I don't want to portray the company I work for in a poor light or be negative in the videos. So I really kind of have to watch what I say when I upload those. Uh, the dash cam footage nobody really cares about, at least from a company standpoint, because I'm not taking time out of the day to make videos. So, most work content will be uh, looking out the windshield of the truck, 
which some people might find interesting or not. Uh, I might figure out a way to attach the GoPro to my hat so I can uh, maybe film while I'm working and not moving the camera a lot. So I'm just going to kind of have to play around with that and see what, uh, what works, what doesn't take a lot of time to mess with, because that's, that's kind of the thing the boss and uh, bosses don't want me doing is wasting time while I'm on the clock, which makes sense. So I still think Trust Delivery is pretty interesting and there aren't a lot of videos about it on YouTube, so oh look, it's fun out. The last lap of the race, thankfully I had enough of the lead. I could, uh, I could still pull off a win. Okay, focus. <laughs> so, the difficulty, um, I'm not sure if uh, inter I'm going to stay at intermediate or not. Probably do a couple more races and see how I fare. Then I might step up the difficulty a little more. Best time I got in all of my racing and all of the laps is that 2 minutes 12.041, which is uh, point 0.9 something something quicker <laughs> than my previous fast time. So let's go ahead and cut to the race at the Nurbur ring. Here we are at the ring, starting in 10th place. Just a quick three laps and switched it over to rain just because the truck's uh, the game does look good with the rain and they, they do actually race five ton trucks in the rain. So, a little bit of dig of all, at all the NASCAR fans European rednecks can race a five ton truck on a road course in the rain, and American rednecks can't even drive around in a circle in the rain. So, that's my dig at the NASCAR community for the video. Uh, all, in, all in good fun. I, I ain't gonna hate on people who are fans of NASCAR or any kind of racing. Uh, even brand loyalty anymore. It's just... It's just not that big of a deal to me. If you, if you like a particular brand, good for you. If you dislike a particular brand, uh, okay, I don't care. Uh, I kind of tend to prefer Dodge, and I could list off every problem they have. Because <laughs> just because I'm a fan of something doesn't mean I can't uh, okay, focus. Keep point out its faults, which I think a lot of people get hung up on when they do the brand arguing, and you, you can't name me a vehicle that we couldn't hop online and cool up the co common problems that particular vehicle has. Uh, for instance, Dodge is known to have electrical issues. If you have a Duramax and have it tuned up quite a bit, you're going to bend your tow rods. Just because the tow rods and uh, steering linkage on the trucks are weak. You put a lot of horsepower to it and get up around well over a thousand foot pounds you're going to bend them especially if you drag race or uh, do sled pulling you know Ford's had the uh, the Tritons had the spark plugs that were impossible to get out sometimes so I just I think if you're taking the brand bashing too seriously you're probably not able to acknowledge your brand's own faults that's just me, uh, and I realized realized a little while ago that needlessly arguing about it, it, it doesn't really get anywhere. I I tend to like trucks more than I like cars, but if I go to a car show like the Joe Palma car show, that 1950 Merc, absolutely a gorgeous car. If I owned it, I would be thrilled. Same with that pickup truck or any of the other vehicles there. Uh, I can I can acknowledge that those people put a lot of work into those vehicles, and I can respect that no matter what the brand is or type of vehicle it is. It doesn't matter if it's a muscle car, an exotic, uh, a 
tuner, classic tuner. There was a 1978 uh, Datsun there. That was really well done. I don't know a lot about cars or trucks. I, I can't tell you which which motor's the best setup for what years. I just kind of dig them all. And uh, that's kind of what I want the direction of my channel to go. I mean, video games with cars or trucks, I'm going to enjoy them. Uh, RC trucks, I enjoy them. Working on my full-size truck, I enjoy it sometimes. As I'm sure most people who are into uh, full-size vehicles will tell you that sometimes it's fun working on the vehicles and then some of the things you got to do, it's just an endless fight and a nightmare and you hate it. And then when you're finally finished, you thank God you're finally finished and hope you never have to do it again. And switching the camera view uh, put me in the dirt, but the interior in the, in the rain looks really good. The, the way the gauges are lit up and stuff. I like driving in uh, third person. Just because I like seeing this splash coming off the tires. And uh, I don't have to look, try to move the character's head in the game to look at the mirrors to see if somebody's around me. That's, that's just me. So, again, it's August. Almost the end of August. This year just... Everybody knows it's just been a weird year. Uh, seemed like it took forever to get through March. April wasn't too bad. May hit and then we started getting the smoke from the wildfires and July and June were gone in an eye blink. Uh, at least for me anyways. <laughs> I know the couple of guys in the office thought it, they all dragged on. But yeah, I don't, I don't know where July went. It was July 1st, and then it was August. So, I'm going to shut up here and just play it. let the last couple minutes of the video play. As always, click like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope everyone had a good weekend, and we will catch you in the next video.